So Nottingham is the regional centre of the East Midlands. Proudly Nottingham is one of the UK's eight core cities. The resident population of the Greater Nottingham Mount Conurbation is 640,000, but the population in the journey to work area for Nottingham is nearly a million. In a year, 75 million annual passenger journeys are made on public transport in Greater Nottingham. Of those 75 million, 51 million alone are made on Nottingham City Transport's buses using a fleet of 320 vehicles operating on 67 principal routes. So in a typical week we'll carry just over 1 million customers while operating 230,000 miles. Like most British cities, Nottingham does suffer from traffic congestion especially at the busy peak period times. So for Nottingham City Transport as a bus operator, our biggest challenge is to give our customers confidence through both reliability and punctuality. And that's where the radio system really becomes so important because it enables us to have verbal communication with our drivers, plus the added benefit of being able to send messages to our customers by the real-time displays located at the main bus stops. We've got quite a comprehensive rollout plan uh, for this project. The fitting of particularly the real-time is a partnership with the local authority where NCT is fitting the vehicles. The local authority, primarily Nottingham City Council, is providing the bus stop infrastructure so it makes sense that we roll out the programme initially on those corridors where the bus stop infrastructure has already been provided and then gradually we will roll out the new radio and real time across the whole fleet as bus stop infrastructure goes in citywide. So it's all about giving our customers that confidence and by being able to be more proactive and regulate services when things are going wrong, we'll be able to ensure that reliability and punctuality. Another big benefit for us is that AVL will give us historical data. So we'll be able to see from trends that if there's a particular delay on a particular service every day at the same time, we'll be able to address that at the, at the first initial stage of timetable scheduling. Traditionally we've taken a reactive stance in the control room because we've very much been reliant on our drivers telling us where problems are and where delays are occurring. The benefit of AVL is that we're now able to see visually and, di and diagrammatically where our vehicles are so our own control room can predict where problems and delays are going to be and take a more proactive stance. One of the main benefits for the driver is that whereas currently uh, they have to deal with a separate ticket machine, separate real-time equipment and separate radio equipment, we're hoping to consolidate that into one system so that ultimately the driver will be able to work all three systems through the ticket machine. This indeed represents a significant investment for Nottingham City Transport and ultimately it's about giving us control of the service out there on the road and enabling our control centre to take a proactive stance and sort problems before they become issues. Ultimately, of course, it's about giving our customers the confidence and predictability in their local bus service, which we know is what they want. Mm -hmm.